All right, everyone. So I'm going to do my recap here for this morning. Go over the trades that I took. Finishing the day at three thousand eight hundred fifty-one dollars and seventy-seven cents, which is not not bad at all. CFRX was the only stock that I traded. Uh, first couple trades were small winners. Sixty-seven dollars on my first trade, like another seventy on the second. Uh, so I was up like 130 after my first two trades and then was able to add a little bit more, a little bit more, and then got a couple better trades. So <clears throat> I'll kind of break it down for you from the first trade to the last trade. Uh, I did trade it quite a bit, but I'll I'll break down at least the high level. For those uh, tuning in for the recap on YouTube, I want to remind you guys that um, we've got a special going on right now for Ross's Ultimate Day Trading Bundle. And for anyone here tuning in, Warrior um, at Warrior members, if you know someone who you think is interested in becoming a uh, Warrior Pro student, this is a great time to get started. So this ultimate bundle that we've put together, and the hair, the hair is really the best part of it. And, and that, uh, I don't even charge you for that. The hair, you just get to enjoy looking at that majestic hair and beard uh, all day long while I'm live streaming and with an ultra low latency feed, so, which is good. You want to see, and with some high resolution, um, this beard, because it's, it's, uh, that actually reminds me, um, well, I guess it's okay. I can still stream here. I was going to stream, uh, I was going to record this recap with my other software, but it's fine. I'll, I'll just do it here. So the other one is higher resolution, but it's fine. It's fine. So anyways, um, so check this out, or if you have any friends that are interested, um, you can send this along to them. So this is your Warrior Pro one-time membership fee, uh, plus it includes your tools prepaid for a full year. So check that out if you're interested in learning more. Um, I'm, uh, I finished last week with a, a pretty nice green day, as you may recall, on Friday. So that sent my PL. Um, you know, right back up to now $142,000 in the last 60 days, sort of rolling period here, uh, which is phenomenal. And so I was grateful to be able to have that fairly quick recovery. Last week, as you know, or the week before, I had four consecutive red days that were big, max loss, a fifth small red day, and then two small green days. And at that point, I was like, so that was after um, the 22nd, so 222. 2023. So at that point, I was like, you know, guys, I've had five big red, five red days, <clears throat> two tiny small green days. I'm afraid of stair stepping down, you know, having a three, four, five thousand dollar loss. So what I ended up doing, um, you know, I tried to trade pretty conservatively uh, as I was kind of getting back in the groove on uh, Tuesday, or I guess it was uh, Wednesday or Thursday because I was concerned about that possibility of having a big loss. So I was in trader rehab and I said, you know, I'm focusing right now on trying to just hit um, a couple of good trades each day, keeping the, the kind of guardrails on in the sense, so to speak, for those that uh, have already tuned into trader rehab, you know what I'm talking about. But by guardrails on, I mean, uh, restricting my share size, not being too aggressive, and restricting the type of stocks I'm willing to trade. So anyways, <clears throat> Thursday ended up being <clears throat> a pretty good day. And then Friday uh, was even better, which was terrific. So a great day on Friday, nice recovery. And so now I feel grateful because this, um, you know, put me back to all-time highs in my account, certainly at the all-time highs for the month of February. And Tomorrow's the last day of the month, so now I just have to hold it together. Okay, so today, 3,800 is certainly holding it together. That's good. First trade was on CFRX. I rolled over this morning in bed, not feeling very well. Obviously, I'm still sick. Um, and I pulled out my gap scanner, which I had on my phone here, but I guess I closed that. Anyways, I pulled out my gap scanner and um, saw that the leading gapper was LHDX, 50 cent stock. It's too cheap. <clears throat> so I thought, no, that's no good for me. I saw CFRX, uh, but this was at like 7 a.m. So I thought, well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it has that pre-market high up here from 430 at like $5.30. So 
so not sure about it but the float's pretty low blrx i don't know didn't see that or blbx these other ones didn't see anything interesting so i was like eh, i don't know anyway so um i sat down here at my in my chair at about 8 a.m and i saw these similar gappers pretty much the same maybe a couple new ones popped up but cfrx caught my eye a little bit because it was gaining its uh, ground here back over vwap right there got back up to vwap at about 822 pulls back comes back up hits a high of 847 right in this area i was uh, tempted to trade it i was thinking about it i almost pulled the trigger and then i was like nah i don't know I'm not sure uh so i ended up taking my first entry on it at four dollars and 46 cents which was right here that was my first entry I ended up going up to a high of 457 and the re so what convinced me to pull the trigger was it was holding vwap it was coming back up again it had just dropped down to 419 and then bounced back pretty nicely and i was like i like this for the break of 450 so i got in at 446 and added at 450 uh, it had a seller, hidden seller at 450 And I sold that first trade for $67 of profit, basically break even. Then it comes back up again, and I got back in at uh, 453 It goes up to 455 458 And I got out of it uh, for some small profit. And then I got back in at 460 So I was just doing really small trades here. I was like feeling a little timid because of the false or the uh hidden sellers i was just like eh, i don't know i'm not sure so anyways it starts to pull away and i sized up at 60 for my first kind of bigger trade with 7000 shares and added at 75 and we got a move here up to 80. that was a good trade put me up about 800 on the day or so not a huge winner but it was good uh added back at 85 ends up going up to 87 and stalling out sort of pulled back here comes back up goes up to 95 dips down goes up to 504 so sort of choppy in this area actually gave back 200 on this red candle right here at uh, 907 it drops down and then it came back up i got back in at 910 added at 925 we got a rip up to 960 and then a period of sideways consolidation so right around here i got up to go grab some tea i missed this break up to 580 I got back in at 595. We got a break of six, go up to 620. And at the open, we got a squeeze up to 650. Uh, actually, we had a high here of uh, 685, halted up. I took profit going into that halt and held small size on resumption, which I sold as it came back down. And that was it. $3,851.77. Not bad. I feel like I could have made more on it, but the thing that was challenging um, was that this had. A couple of areas where it was sort of choppy it was choppy like in this area here at 560 it was choppy in this area here at about five it was choppy right here around 450 and then again 460 so it was just kind of choppy uh but it did have some nice breakout candles and i'm i'm glad that i was able to do well on it but i'm not going to overstay my welcome today i don't i really don't feel that great so i'm happy with where i'm at and uh i'm gonna try again tomorrow so, you know, we'll see what the market has in store for us tomorrow. Uh, good luck for those that keep trading. And for those that want to learn more, make sure you check out Ross's Ultimate Day Trading Bundle. And I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you in the morning. Hey, and reminder, as always, trading is risky. My results aren't typical. And there's no guarantee you'll find success whether you trade on your own or you learn from me. So make sure you take it slow and you practice in a simulator before you put real money on the line. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.